Daily commute will take even longer if you use the Tobin Bridge. It certainly did this morning. Starting today, one lane coming into Boston was closed. And the restrictions going out of the city have also been extended. WBZ's Lisa Greshi shows us how drivers are handling it. Drivers understand the two-year rehab project is absolutely necessary. What they can't understand is how they'll be able to avoid traffic now that both directions are coming to a stop. The Tobin Bridge is really crazy, but they got to do something with it because it's real old, it's breaking down. Just what drivers don't want to see, more orange cones. It's always backed up. The new closure is in the Chelsea Curve section, the area leading up to the Tobin Bridge. The lane only opens back up when drivers reach the bridge. This, on top of the work already underway on the northbound side, expanding. Because right now we only have one lane. You know, so you know, it's terrible. For those who live on the North Shore, their commute in and out of the city could take even longer. This is a, a very difficult project with a lot of impacts, especially the next few weeks are going to be difficult. At this point, many drivers don't know what more they could do to avoid traffic. Be coming from near the Sullivan T station, it's backed up. Coming from the Wellington C station, it's backed up. It's, it's madness. And I can only imagine. <laughs> in a few couple of months, it's going to get even worse. Another major concern brought up over and over again. The casino just weeks away from opening. Wait till it opens. You won't be able to get near it. That's how bad it's going to be. To help, MassDOT announced the carpool lane from Medford to Boston will be open for all drivers. With two years of this multi-phase project ahead of them, some are just facing the truth. Traffic will get worse before it gets better. It's crazy out here, y'all. MassDOT says eventually a southbound lane on the bridge will have to close. They haven't announced a date yet. Reporting in Chelsea, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.